In this video, I'm going to show you how to hide the Copilot summary section within Dynamics 365 customer service application forms. Okay, so you might have seen in the last couple of weeks, uh, a section appears within your form within Dynamics customer service application. Now, this is a part of uh, initiative by Microsoft with regards to pushing Copilot everywhere uh, within Dynamics 365 customer service and other applications. Okay, so you might have seen a Copilot icon over here, then there is a repeat Copilot icon, and then there is uh, another Copilot icon on the top as well. So now, uh, this Copilot icon is basically allows you to view the summary of the case for an agent so if an agent opens the case so take for example if if it, an agent navigates to the customer service applications cases and if he or she opens the case uh, within the application then it shows um, basically uh, so let me open this case so it will show you a summary of the case uh, uh, using Copilot. So Copilot automatically uh, will give you the summary of the cases within the application. So if you see this, this control automatically loads up. Now, if you have customized your form, uh, then also this particular uh, summary control will appear. Now, I understand that you should not be seeing that uh, and you would like to disable that if you are not ready with Copilot or maybe if you do not want to turn that functionality on for the agent. Now here, this control basically it will summarize the cases now the, this case does not have much information so i'm not sure whether it will summarize it correctly or it will need some more information now this has already summarized this information so that's a good summary it has uh, created uh, but i don't want this control okay so how do i turn this off so uh, the general um, belief is that you need to go into the customer service admin application. Now, how do you navigate to the customer service admin application is like you click on the top bar uh, and then you navigate to the apps. And then from here, you navigate to the customer service admin application. Now, under agent experience, under productivity, you will see something called a summaries preview. Let agents catch up on cases and live conversation using AI generated summary. Now, if you click on manage, then here there is a section called as case summaries, make case summaries available to agents. Okay. Now, ideally, what you would do is you will untick this box and you will click on save and close. Okay. Because you may think that, hey, this is related to summaries and uh, let me turn this off. Okay. Now, I have I did that change. Let me do a very hard refresh on the screen. Okay. So you do a hard refresh by using Control F5 uh, in Microsoft Edge, and then you'll try to see the changes, whether the changes has been um, updated or not within the application. Now, once the page loads, uh, you will still see that summary section, okay? You will still see that summary section, and that is not gone after, even after making that change. So that means that is not the settings for you to uh, play around with to close the summary section within a form. So what you need to do, if you want to really want to turn this section off, you need to uh, navigate to the case table. Okay. So let me go to the case table in the backend. So make.powerapps.com. And once you are in that uh, case table, you need to navigate to your form. Okay. So in my case, the form name is called as case for interactive experience. In your case, you might be having, you, using information form or maybe some custom forms within your application. So you can actually navigate to that particular form. And then once you navigate to that form, so I'm in, uh, I've opened this table. Uh, so I'll open the forms. And once I uh, click on form, I should be able to view the list of forms for a case entity. Or table so I will edit this form case for interactive experience which I've already opened it over here okay now here if you see this is the form okay now here uh, if you click on this timeline control and this control was appearing somewhere here on the top okay now that is not part of a direct section okay so what you need to do you need to just click outside okay and this entire section will get highlighted so that means you're selecting the form context okay you're not selecting the header you're not selecting the tab you're not selecting this particular section or this particular box but you're clicking it outside and that's why the entire perimeter of the form gets highlighted okay with this color now here there 
is something called as events okay and the case for interactive experience main form section so there's a properties and then there is an event go to onload and who over here you will see something called as mscrm.cs intelligence.copilot case summary okay now this is if you click over here this is basically it it triggers a script and then uh, that script renders the control okay so one option is to completely you know you can go ahead and delete this okay if you can delete you can delete that but i would advise not to delete it keep it uh, handy okay uh, because you may require it in the near future so what you can best you can do is click on uh, untick the enabled option click on done okay and once it is done click on save and publish okay so let me override the changes because i did some changes beforehand and let this form gets published So now it is saved and published. Just to verify again, I will just click on this control again. I'll see that this is not enabled uh, and looks good to me. So while, what I'll do, I'll go into this form again and I will uh, click on cases. I'll turn this copilot off and maybe let me do a hard refresh. So I'll do a control F5, which will uh, clear up the cache and then it will try to refresh or reload the page. Uh, for case entity So now if I click on one of the record, and once the page loads, let's see whether the summary control renders or not. So now, as you see over here, this page has almost loaded completely and you don't see the summary control. So that means uh, this is the correct solution for you to uh, disable the copilot control, copilot summary control within Dynamics 365 customer service application. So what we have done, we've gone into the backend form. The form can be anything which you are using it. In my case, it's case for interactive experience form. And uh, we select the perimeter of the form and then uh, based on uh, the properties and events, I. I have gone into the onload section and under onload section one of the handlers was related to copilot i just disabled it okay i just turned off uh, enabled section and then once that is done this particular form gets hidden so that's it folks this is how you basically turn off the case summary copilot section within dynamics 365 customer service application form.